<laughs> Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at a very interesting topic here as we're gonna encounter of course the first really hard counter team here against me. I actually saw a lot of times in my comments already that people think that YouTube have like better luck or like scripted by Niantic and most of them don't really do that like as a joke or as a meme which is like kind of ridiculous to me. So today you're gonna see me playing this team here and I think I lost like out of 15 games, they're all in there, all games I played with this team are in there. I think I lost like 11 or something, elites or something like this. Like I, don't, I won more than 11 games, not more than 11 games, but more than the games I lost the lead. Because lead is actually not the most important thing in the game in general, like the most important matchup gonna be the second matchup all the time. I kind of want to have the second match up the match up you have to win because if you basically win the second match up and get some kind of advantage there um you can kind of flip the match the whole for the whole time here again like i think Mibu was the lead or something there another fighter coming into me already very very cool there's nothing i can do there i cannot win this secondary matchup at all oh no it was muck i guess cool another muck um, but yeah, in general, the second matchup is always the best matchup and the most important matchup. And there are several different kind of advantages you can get. You can get a shield advantage while you faint there most of the time still, but you got more, one more shield than, uh, from your opponent than you used. You can get the advantage of a switch advantage, which basically means that you win the matchup. No matter how many shields you really use there, but you can get, realign your Pokemon later on, which is a huge advantage, especially like in those teams where the lead and the last Pokemon you're closer are like really good synergy together. For example, like Nidoqueen and Scrafty. For example, Nidoqueen doesn't really like to see a G-Fisk or something like this against it, while Scrafty really likes that, and Scrafty doesn't like to face a fight against it, while Nidoqueen really likes that. Those are like those cores that you kind of want to have with a good save swap, where you can just realign your Pokemon correctly because they counter each other's weaknesses and have like really good matchups against a lot of them in the matter. And then there is another advantage which is a bit more complicated. It can be also combined with other advantages, of course, like shield advantage can also be combined with switch advantage. If you get both, like you're so good, like basically you're so clear then. It happened to me really rarely, but happens sometimes that I even got shields and the switch back. But um, there's also something called energy advantage where you might lose the matchup, you might not have like any um, switch advantage or like the, or you have like still even shields to the opponent. But if you can go, into another Pokemon and basically farm down the Pokemon you basically fa faced before in the secondary matchup from your opponent with like uh, your close or something for example get a huge energy lead um, you can also like flip a lot of matchups for example now where we have the Master League Premier Cup which I really like way more than the Kento Cup by the way but yeah I think I do like one more video to Kento Cup and that's gonna be it because uh, I currently like play all the time against Nido Queen. Um what's it called? Oh so, so sad that we didn't get to the move there. It was actually really important if we got there we would have won this game here. I play so often against Nido Queen, Licky Tang and Chansey, like I don't really want to face it anymore. It's just so boring, I don't like it. Yes, I made a video about that, so I cannot complain, but still it's not really fun to play against or watch, so that's it's not the coolest anyway. But yeah, in general um, now that I lost lead here, what a surprise. I think we haven't had a good lead yet. We also have a very interesting um, moveset on the Hypno, by the way. Ice Punch and the Focus Blast is something that you rarely see. For me, I spent like 10 t TMs. I, I actually kind of want to have Fire Punch, especially for this matchup against the Sand Slash, but I wasted like 10 TMs and then I thought, okay, Focus Blast might be funnier for a video. So yeah, now we have Focus Blast here. Um, other than that, like, wh why do people even comment something like, oh yeah, you two have more luck? It's kind of something that is on the YouTuber's fault, I would say. I know that a lot of people just like, of course, like, if you're a YouTuber, you don't really want to be in a bad light or anything like this. You kind of want to have everybody happy, show teams that work well, and teams that don't work well, you don't really show that. Or like, that must, it doesn't always have to be like the team's fault that it doesn't work well. You can just get hard count and they don't show that really as much anyway. 
And a lot of people just like cut out their losses because like losing in Go Battle League, how could you? That's like so unlikely and like no one ever loses in Go Battle League. It's part of the game by the way. You basically always have losses in my videos. Like they think there's, oh, there's one video actually where I don't have a single loss. This is my Zarud video because I wanted to get it out as fast as I could. But I was like already 13 games in, didn't find the opponents anymore, and was already 13 and 0, so I couldn't really put a loss into there. But other than that, you always find losses in my videos, and most of the time, like 2 or 3, 4 or something. Um, I, I don't know, like, I know that other people don't really like to showcase losses, also, it's like, I think, kind of the problem, like, the problem, also, like, not really a problem, but yeah, a lot of channels just do showcases of other people's channel which is way easier and less work for youtubers usually because like doing those battles thinking about teams takes the most time out of making videos definitely so i know why people don't really like to do that and rather use like teams that are from the community which is also cool for the community of course but yeah it's also like easier as a youtuber as a job to do so it's faster to produce and basically yeah you know what I'm saying, basically. Um, but yeah, those teams that you face there or like that showca get showcased there most all the time also always have like, oh yeah, I went 11 and 1 with this team, showcase my battles and something like this. Like you rarely see a lot of losses there. Like usually you see only the good games and people cannot really, like I, I would guess a lot of people would not send in every battle, like every battle they lost into those as well. I mean, I did it um, also, like, before I did YouTube and stuff on my own. Um, I got showcased a lot of times by uh, other YouTubers. Of course, my teams were always really good. I was, like, nearly always on the leaderboards with them. But also, of course, didn't really... If I have, like, three sets and two get showcased, I, of course, don't let them showcase the set where I went 2-3 with the team, but rather use the, t the set that I went 5-0 and 4-1. Most likely, I have, like, some good leads there, but... This is like not the norm. Of course, everybody has like some tough leads, some some games you can win. God, um, nearly died there. Oops. But yeah, some games that you can win. And in general, like this is totally normal. Happens to everybody. Don't feel like YouTube have like better matchups or anything. We all have the same matchups and there is no algorithm. You just get the same leads as everybody else. But I know it looks different on YouTube because people just only showcase the battles that went well and not the battles that don't went well. And yeah, it's, it's really rarely seen in the community where you have like, oh yeah, I went 0 and 15 with this team and showcase that. Well, I think you yeah, have like, I don't know. Eight wins and uh, eight, yeah, I think it's something like eight wins and seven losses in this video. So you see a lot of times I'm losing here, but most of the times it's because I have a bad lead matchup in the lead and then get hard countered in the back. Happens to me as well, like as to everybody else. There's a difference from the yeah, take between YouTuber and not YouTuber. Ah, oh, this game was also so sad that I didn't get to the focus first. I wouldn't have killed it anyway, but it's fine. So I think I had like five times a lick lead in a row. With against with this team here and like cool, I cannot do really anything against that. And here again, Mio and the champ in the back, cool, cannot do anything against that. Is it bad team building? Yeah, of course, it's not the best team here, which also benefits me losing um, a lot of games there because it's just more like a meme team because I have like those two electric boys in the back. But uh, still, I have like the, one of the most meta months in the lead with Hypno, and nearly everybody basically counters that, I guess, I, right now, which is crazy. I actually thought of, yeah, I should be able to like counter those uh, Nido Queen double normal teams, but yeah. Didn't see a lot of them here, but I did saw a lot of them in the next video we had. But yeah, in general, this is basically the, the whole thing about, oh yeah, YouTuber have better matchups. Most of the time, it's only really because YouTuber only show the good matchups, I would say. Also happens to me, like, um, usually I have like, I don't know, 12 to 15, depends on the league, matches in a video. And I usually play three to four sets with the team. So I always have to put out some... Um, games as well which games i really put out as sometimes really difficult like random i just if i have like such a good set where like everything went well i just like you throw 15 random games in there and just render that and see what it is usually i don't really take the long time and look, look through everything and all oh, this get better i have to delete or anything like this i don't redo really that but of course sometimes 
if you, if you really think about it, do you really want a video about like teams where you completely get hard counted? Like you can learn from losses in general, which I think is like the better thing. That's why I always have losses in my videos. But I don't think you learn really uh, much from losses where you just get hard counted because you don't know, know, you don't learn anything about how to play them. Like because you just can't have no chance from the beginning. It's just a waste of time, basically. In games like this happens to every team. Like there's no team that cannot get hard counted. Uh, it's just not possible. Which I kind of like. And here, look at this. We didn't lose a lead, but we lost the switch in. And we have a Marek against us. A normal Marek, which completely destroys my backline like crazy. And there's nothing I can do with my backline because either moves are like double resisted or single resisted. Isn't that cool? Is that algorithm? Hello, that's the first, um, what's it called? The first Marek I've seen at all. But yeah, it's, it's just like unlucky. Uh, happens to me. Of course, cool for my opponent here that he's gonna be able to completely wreck me with his Marowak, but what can I do? It's just like very unlucky for me. Happens, but like, <laughs> this is nothing where I like gonna complain about. It's just how it is. Here we have a Yugan against us. Actually, interesting that he didn't go for the move there. I think he just wanted to get the farm, which was smart, but yeah, I'm not smart. I shouldn't have let him get that much farm where I cannot even get to another move. Because you're gonna win here now with an earthquake. Good game that to my opponent well played. But yeah, you see a lot of losses here. Stuff like this just happens. The, like, usually I wouldn't showcase this team at all unless I already, like, like you already see basically. If I say the team is good, the team is good. If I say the team was mad and I just used it for spice, I usually say that in the video. Seeing like the Arcanine video where I said I did like seven sets and the team didn't really work out that well, but more because of game mechanics. So I'm, I'm most of the time really honest, like most of the time I'm always really honest with my videos in general and the teams I show. I have a lot of people who get legend with the teams I build, which I always see on social media, which is always cool to see as well. And a lot of people thank me for the content. Um, but yeah, there are teams that are not as good. Not every team can be like perfect and fine, especially if you play a bit more spicier stuff. But usually I say that, uh, not usually, like all, all the time I say it over the team wasn't good. For example, this team wasn't good. But mostly also here again, because I lost like every lead, like what the hell? <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, do we actually go? Uh, okay, I, I, I just, I just tank the move here. Thought I would go for the focus burst, but sadly I don't. I can go for the ice punch at least. Oh, nice. But yeah, this was basically a talk video again. I think tomorrow when you see that should be the C day, I would guess. If that's C day tomorrow, I think it should be. Is it tomorrow? I think it's not. I think this is a Friday episode, isn't it? Is it Thursday episode? I have literally no idea. I think it's even Thursday. Never mind. Yeah, it's tomorrow already. For me, it's a Wednesday right now. After like so many videos, I have to commentate right now, so <laughs> that's why I'm a bit confused. But yeah, um, follow me on Twitter. I'm definitely gonna ask during the C day again for our Great League battles. I think this time around. I think I'm gonna try it in Open Ultra League as well. But Open Ultra League and Great League comes back for the last week of the season, so I'm just gonna do it then there. But I think I'm gonna go for Great League first. Um, challenge me for battles there. I'm gonna post my friend code again. I only have like five spots left or something on my friend list sadly So there won't be a lot of people coming in there from new ones But it's already like I always basically try to clean up my friend list with people who are active and who are not I get just kicked out you can see like this person just caught the last Pokemon two plus days ago And then usually I kick them out from my friend list so I make more space for active people that's usually how I handle my friend list anyway. So yeah, if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter and I'm most likely gonna post my friend code on there on the Sunday. So yeah, we have the Hypno here against us. So what is the prize against, uh, again, a hard counter here. We have the Chansey against us. Look how little a Stone Edge, which is a very, very strong move, which has stab as well, does against the Chansey. It is sometimes a bit ridiculous how bulky this thing is. That's also the main reason why I don't really like this Kento Cup anyway. But yeah, we still have the Master League, which is at least fine, and it's the end of the season anyway, so I don't really expect a lot of 
views or like exciting content anyway. I still I like this one more than um, the one that we had before, like last season. I think last season was drier than this season. At least we have like two different cool, I mean not cool, but two different cups at least right now, which is kind of nice. I like that more than what we had last season where we just had like mainstream cups. And here we can go for some wild charges. Actually so sad that he survived that. I think he had like Tiki Tang on the back, but I'm not 100% sure. He had... Oh, oh no, it's a Snorlax, never mind. But basically the same team again. You always see like those super bulky chance X all teams, which are like so lame and... Yeah, I don't like, I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. So I'd rather play the Master League League right now, like Master League Premier. Because it's just a way better league here. Really nice catch by my opponent. Doesn't really matter. We're still gonna win this game, I think. And see you in the next video. Thanks all for watching. And tomorrow gonna be, I think, a very cool team actually that worked out pretty well in Master League.